and good day and salutations. Welcome to another episode of Together A Roll. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, what? Well, Potato mashed <laughs> in the brain. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We have uh, a little bit more tech than Next. usual. <laughs> Hi, GM Nick. Hi. Who's Nick? <laughs> what? You. Yep. We, yeah, have a remote, we have a remote player tonight. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, no. Uh, this I, is... This... I'm just hoping no one realizes that this segment was recorded four hours before the actual rest of the game. <laughs> and then you're just playing the recording. Ah, yes. It'll right. work just fine. <laughs> Is All that right. why you're blaming This is a recording of Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that you start the recording after I said this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you got me thinking about it. Okay. Uh, you're, not not a <laughs> <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> Kevin here, I'm going to let you know, without you here to respond to physically, you're going to have to treat them like they're 10% dumber. <laughs> he already does. No. Oh boy. Dumber. Can I can I build you like a USB thing where you can stick it in and it shoots things at you when we hit buttons? <laughs> <laughs> I think this one already has that now. Wait. Let's put that on the anyway. TV list, shall we? <laughs> so there's a bunch of cool people that we want to thank. Go to the links up. Uh, you're welcome. Don't don't mention it. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean yes. You're, you're... Wrong player. <laughs> There's a lot of cool people that helped us uh, build some amazing stuff on the table. If you have any questions on what it is, ask. We'll tell you what it is and uh, where to get it from. Uh, and also, we have a Patreon. So uh, thank you for all our Patreon supporters. Which we haven't really configured yet. Um, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, no it's, we... it's nothing about feed pics of me. Um, so. But anyway, check it out. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Careful. We don't want to break Patreon. <laughs> now, do we? <laughs> There's never been anything that's made me want to delete my Patreon account. Please go <laughs> <on. laughs> Let's get to another episode. Hit the button before we say anything uh, else. We'll see you in a minute. We're already demonetized. <laughs> But notice the world is not the same as when we all got started and we know who's to blame no turning back now to try to be insane for what's beyond the veil too vivid to explain faceless behemoths haunt my dreams seeking to steal my sanity i will not stand Loading bar that goes from 20% to 15 <laughs> then 60% We're to back. 5. We're oh, back. I know. But they don't even have to hear what kind of countdown you did. He just doesn't know how to count. He's getting into character. He said 10, 5, 8. He forgot what 9 was. <laughs> Me, 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 ek, 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 channeling ek, channeling ek. Oh, see, when I drive here, I channel Vedic by just cutting people off. I don't drive people into a ditch. Throwing the objects out the window. I don't know what happened, officer, but I heard this cackling as someone drove away. Well, everyone, this is going to be a fun moment. Uh, oh, a little yeah. bit of recap as Nathan takes the TWR roller off the stage, please. Just to distract the all, just, all of it. We're using the TV right away. So, uh, uh, okay, just bring it towards me. No, no, I got the whole thing. Okay, okay. Cool. and <laughs> toss all the miniatures towards the wall, yeah. making sure you drink everything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what? You take the miniatures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? So, last time we left the um, Intrepid uh, Adventurers. We left them. <laughs> the Southern Menagerie followed Quinn in, or sorry, was invited to assist them to the Fey Court, where Quinn, after some adventuring through the Fey Wilds, 
and turn off the above light, please. Uh, I'll bet you truth, Fay Rob, made all sorts of new okay. contacts okay. of information. You met princess, or sorry, save a princess at <laughs> the dragon. The dragon, dragon. he'll try to eat the princess. Yes. Uh, and Boiled by night. Princess of the Great Hop. <laughs> Todd, the saver, the merciful. Oh god, I forgot that happened. Managuma hedgehogs that were actually part of a crime syndicate. Why is the lights going lower? That's we're what setting the mood. You're Keep setting the talking. Mood. That's, that's what you said to do. <laughs> no, he, said to turn he, wanted, off the he wanted. He wanted that. That the, he wanted the. He wanted the. Uh, the mood lighting off. He wanted the uh, water. Water oh, effect water. light. He wants okay. water effect light off. I think I liked it better when it was lower. Guys, can we? This is going to be some interesting <laughs> moments. I tell it's you. It's going great. It's going to be a show. Going great. We what? also fed a squirrel to some mushrooms. <laughs> yes, you. Well, uh, yes, you found a squirrel that was fed to some mushrooms. Revived, had an argument with Veda, and then got air blasted into mushrooms again by uh, Todd's new, well, sorry, first introduced weapon. Okay, there we go. And then you went into the uh, fake court. That was all parts of mudslinging and shenanigan callings. And somehow, even with Quinn's most, almost, uh, uh, well, expertise in anything in persuasion, deception, Quinn charming, talked himself out of a whole bunch of bullshit in the Fey Court, which is an achievement by itself. <laughs> Even with the mighty minus ten. And then uh, the monkey showed up. And then the monkey showed up. The partner of a certain torturous creature that has been killed on several occasions, virtually destroyed on another, <laughs> and forcibly shoved off a cliff in the Shadow Realm. Is there something to do with lava pit, uh, frozen, shoved off a cliff, what else? Uh, killed a bunch of fey in front of it while it was frozen before pushing it off you the You can ledge. also just sum it up by killed it, killed it, killed it, yeah. killed it. No, I returned it home, returned it, it is, home. It returned is home. the bowl returned of petunias. He forgot that he could dismiss it with a word and used every possible There were a lot of things. <laughs> but the partner, and I'm going to bring out names before I misremember the names of certain people. While he's doing that, Kevin... Do you, like, follow British politics? Because it seems like you would excel in Parliament based on your performance in the Fae Court. It's just a lot of yelling at each other, right? Like, you could do that. Is he paying attention? <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's not even paying attention. Yeah, you're, you're sound cutting the note there. Oh. Say that one more time. It's probably not worth it, and Nick's probably caught up, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Uh, so... With the current gossip that is going around, as Ek was levitated along, the partner of the tortured monkey was le uh, uh, so let's change that was brought into the sky as the ceiling of the skyline became another territory of the Feywild, as it quite literally did the inception like folding over kind of situation. Uh, as you guys were levitated into a or well gravity gravity weld into another location just you and this monkey as you see spires upon spires of rock that is covered in the various jungles and debris that are going hundreds if not thousand feet in the air that are covered in glittering gold pieces gems mirrors and magical items that monkeys have gra uh, grasped over the years and have climbed down here and just dumped here but it is your worst nightmare possible as you look over these small, giant dirt pillars and just see thousands of feet of drops. As you see um, a, a top side of, uh, of clouds and seeing flying birds flying in between these uh, fragments to jump in between certain dozens of them. Heights. Why did it have to be Let's heights? get ready to jungle! <laughs> Let's get ready to jungle! Now, I'm going to do something that I've never done before, and I'm going to activate Tailspire. Whoa! We didn't practice it. We didn't practice this. We did not practice this. We, you know this shit. We so, don't know. We Tailspire. Know Where is no Kevin's production. input mic in this? Just out of curiosity. Uh, his input mic is... The, That's... Okay. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, we we have his... Everything's... Look at this. Where he's at is where he's at. Okay, okay. I just his, want to know his, what I'm his, talking his, Like, if his, I need to direct... His ears, yeah, sure. His input mic is your input mic. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it would be if we were on the same PC. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and that's why he's remote. Never mind. What? We separated it to make it easier so we didn't screw up the other yeah. machine. All right, so everyone should be able to see what I'm seeing. 
Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, give us our table cam. And actually, let's do our... Um, it's top down. Yeah, it's top down. So I'm going to go ahead and do sky cam. Here's our sky cam. Yeah, sky cam. There you go. Yeah, he's sitting That's better. Oh, wow. It's currently oh, shit. moving in. Yep. Oh, my God. Now, please be gentle. This is my first map that I've made on this device. But... As oh my god. In, it's not a butt plug. You're doing great. Oh my god. That's the monkey over here. What in the mother of. This and is if cool. We go over here. You should have brought your PC. I now. know. This is cool. And here's Ed with his nice little hat. Oh my god. You put a fucking pink hat on me. I did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are those. Did you are those downloadable from Hero Forge? Is that yes, they are. I, so uh, I've got that updated. Uh, Sparks coming too. Okay. All right. All yeah. right. Now I understand why you wanted me to update oh, better. Yeah, Although the one you've got is pretty good. Show yeah. the team. Show the team. Well, I got not everyone, but I do team. have oh, wow. a good little thing here. Uh, Sparks updated. Sparks updated. You didn't adjust your height that much though. I did. Oh, and I, down I, here, here's the right here. He was seven Yo, feet. Oh, look at the bunny. <laughs> I did change the, the platform that he was on. He was on an extra large platform, yeah, and that's expensive. Short. Yep. And I brought a bunny to make sure I did it proper. I did <laughs> the right height. height appropriate. Yeah, height appropriate. It's actually not bad. Anyway, back to the fight. So, it's working out okay. How is it looking on the TV? Looking good. Okay. At least I think it's looking good. Hopefully our viewers are thinking it is too. I've got different camera angles. I have our combat cam. So you can see from our uh, from from uh, DM side out, and then I also have our sky cams, which is looking straight above, and then I also have our table cam, which is coming from the back side of the table. So I've got three different views. So Welcome I, to the 21st century. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Cool. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm building maps that are literally impossible to build in real life. I mean, and uh, well, everything I tried to build physically, I'm like, it's going to take up the whole table. It's going to be a whole mess, and it's still not going to be right. So I found Hellspire, and let me just remind you now: this is tall as as it is, but we're talking about almost double, if not triple, the height of the actual setting. Sure, you break so, it, you bought it. Yeah. So, but I went this hard because I've been doing it for six hours and I was learning the system and yada, 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 yada. Okay, so. Basically, you fall, you die. Don't we fall. are in the battle setting. Currently, this partner monkey, as the gossip goes around and the tree lights cover over the ceiling for the rest of you that are in the cart for Quinn, Sparks, Vedic, and Todd, thoroughly separated now across the entire court of Fae as people rush to pools of water, rush to the sides as rivers are starting to blow up like liquid uh, uh, liquid mirrors of silver as they adjust and tune and uh, Like a jumbotron? Like a double jumbotron as a spectacle of a fight has begun! As the torturer of Fae of The torturer of Tortle! <laughs> Torturous Tortle! You're not helping, Vedic! You're not helping! <laughs> what do you say? I'm totally helping! <laughs> Versus Bim Bim Mirsol! Partner of Versus brave... Mirsol the victim! Yes! <laughs> Versus the partner of, uh, of Brave Wind, now known as Broken Wind, as he's currently cheering on in his half barrel that he's currently just wrapped with various pieces <laughs> of stiff. Uh, mud and also just plant matter that is currently making cast uh, with patched hair and this is one bulbous eye that's bloodshot red. That he looks legitimately injured. He's like almost shaking, but it seems to be like like go go go. As the rest of the monkeys are just currently just screaming the high heaven, and some of these monkeys have wings, so they're like flying monkeys and currently oh, no. strange pa uh, patches of spur of like purples, blues, and golds. So where's the witch? These are fey monkeys. These are not normal monkeys. These are Fey monkeys. Remember that act. Wicked Witch of the Fey? Oh no. Oh you, god. Yeah. Wicked Witch of and the Fey? And as the fight is about to begin, you and everyone of the court is able to give your boons now. So, what would you like to do to either give a boon? Oh, I was going to think a, about this and then I. How do you give a boon? <clears throat> You're um, looking at a couple of fae, and, and you see a several like almost like a pigeon goes inwards on sits on the uh, side of the monkey, and the monkey goes and takes it and scrunches on it, and seems to like almost grow a little few inches tall. And if you were a Patreon supporter, you could actually have given a boon. 
<laughs> I'm about to tease off you in a moment. I know. I'm a, uh, mm -hmm. No, there, seriously, is, you can actually get boons, boons on our yes. Patreon. Is there anything you would like to give a boon to on who you are supporting? Yes. Can we this, only give it to who we're supporting? We can't give debuffs? No. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be too much chaos, and it would just become everyone casting and not uh, giving so boons and anti counter spells. Counter spells. I need to look up a spell. Everyone's just counter spelling counter spells. I need to look up a spell. Sorry. Um, for Ion, obviously, because no what you mean by give a boon. Yeah. But for the people who at home. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to give a boon is a open interpretation of Actually, how would you like to support the person that you want to support, the team that you're going to be like cheering for. And so. politically, in the court of Fae, in the court of Wonder, this is very important because of who you're supporting. Are you uh, t supporting a torture, a person that has been gossiped as a torturous fey individual or are you going to uh, support the person that is uh defending his part or her partner's rights and you can do it through magical means you can do it food means you can do it through uh giving them weaponry you can uh you can finger them sorry what or to get inspiration for you them. can also give body inspiration basically what, anything what, what, you would deem what? A positive influence for that bardic inspiration. To okay. the no, I didn't. I heard to the monkey. No, to you. He's last I checked. I'm not. How would you like to inspire this monkey? The monkey. <laughs> That's it. Okay, you just kind of go the monkey, and all the, along with all other the chimpanzees are in and just make a bunch of noise in the court of Fay, and that is a D eight, I believe. What is it? D10? He said 12. D12. D12. We're the monkey. But you don't know that, Ag. You're currently digging around in the treasure with the monkey. Anyone else? Yeah, that's a that's a one. Like, it's a one-off. Yes, it's 1D12. One yeah. Now, are you being open about it, or are you being sneaky about it? Oh, I'm, no, I'm being open about it. This, Interesting. This, this inspiring the monkey is the playing up the part of yes there is injustice that has been done yep. and uh, the monkey has every right to defend itself now at the same time i'm going to subtly cast heroism on Eck. make a slot of hand check please what the hell does here it's a hand or deception it's the advantage on everything it would be slide of well how would you deceive someone? Because currently you're inspiring the monkeys outright, and then you're casting a spell with the other hand. Yeah, make it look like I'm doing something for the monkey again. Wait. All right, I'll allow is it, it. Is it two things? Okay. Am I still at minus ten for my social roll? Yes, for and specifically for open court shenanigans, essentially. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's a minus ten. I, I got a twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna make a quick roll here. Okay. All right. You cast the spell, and you cast Heroism on Eck, which does what? I need to flip back. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, great. You did something. You didn't even know yeah. what it does. <laughs> Medic will uh, will will uh, look to you know he's got the the time the time weaver sitting in the little the little bag inside goes and hands him a golden marble. Right. Goes thank you. Why do I view him as like a running hamster inside <laughs> that thing? <laughs> and. He would be drinking, not running. True. Mage, like, and mage hand that down to Ek. There's a Easy little, enough. Little, little golden marble. And, and even though the, you don't see it above you anymore, you go through the scrying portal, and you go, goes Eat through. It. And by the way, Ek, you see these portals opened of scrying circles. You have a spectacle sport happening, and you're at the center of attention. What does he get? Draconic senses. Sure. It's a self-cast, but if he eats the little marble, it casts it on itself. Heck, there is a floating golden light marble in front of you that almost has... Can you I... don't know how the marble's giggling, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> Can I add on real quick? Mm. Okay, so this all's going on. Todd pulls out the Nyquist handbook and goes, Okay, so Eck is fighting in combat by himself. Reach into pouch in X section and pull out... Gems. Can you hand these to him? Oh yeah, sure. 
And okay. I'm going to pass two elemental gems, the blue and the red, to oh, <laughs> Those are good. Okay, so, so Draconic Senses give you uh, 60 feet of dark vision and 60 feet of blind sense. Okay, Ooh. so I already have dark vision. So it's um, 120 feet of blue dark vision oh. and blind sense. Oh, blind sense, of course, I don't. Have. Okay, so so that so I'm trying to protect you from Fey here. <laughs> so okay, draconic senses. What does that do again? It doubles his dark vision if he okay. has it, and, and it gives him sixty feet of um, it gives him sixty feet of blind sense. Ooh, mind help. Yeah. And what was your thing again? Uh, I gave him two. I don't know what they do. I gave him oh, two right, gems, the gems. A blue and a red gem that Nick was said to give him should he be fighting alone. Like, I literally have a little flow chart of if this person is experiencing this, do this with the items that I have. Wow. So. I can see this flow chart. <laughs> I'm there's some on there it's like, if X does this, just push him a little bit further into oblivion. <laughs> there if are... Unplug this. There are several that result in the death of the turtle. Yes. <laughs> no, no. She. I, so I, I love this. She's got the bag that opens up, and each one's she got like a color coded section for each of us. Yep. Like I just read. It's like, like you know one of those one of those little pocket things you see all just make. This document is very old. <laughs> a long time. Oh shit! Wait a minute. You've been setting this shit up from since the first time I killed the monkey. You forgot about these rocks, to be clear. Oh, well, Everyone yes, but also, did. I have this I document to right. remind me, so <laughs> even I'm going to be surprised on what I did. <laughs> he forgot about them, and he's like, oh shit, right, I have some in Nicholas's bag. I have bag. two of them. No, no, I have two of them. They're not in the bag. Right. The elemental you gems? You grabbed extra ones and stuck them in. There were two that you were concerned with, and then you were like, well, we can't leave the rest. And so I can't do that. Yeah. Stuffed all the rest in the back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Those are all technically yours that Nick was assumes I, that you I, forgot and is handing out. Well, like I am you. utterly amazed how he, you were even adding a pink hat on my, I guess that's... You know that hat? That's hero You know that? You see that hat? That's eight fucking dollars worth of a hat. <laughs> that's eight dollars worth of hat. Because I bought you miniature twice. Each time was eight dollars. That's an eight dollar hat. That's right there. Eight dollar hat. Wow. That's an eight dollar hat. It's an eight dollar virtual hat. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a pretty hat. We're being <laughs> that's true. a really pretty hat. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. And you can support our new Patreon. Eight dollar continuation prank. <laughs> <laughs> And you can help support us in our nerdum on Patreon. <laughs> I changed the color of X hat. <laughs> he got Meg, to do two things. He did. Yeah. Mine isn't an act. No, no, one giving. for each. Ooh. Ooh. Make a make a dexterity uh, check. I can't debunk because it. you gave two gems. Right. I handed him two gems and he delivered them. I did. I did the delivery mechanism. Yes. That's this. You know. Okay. So blue or blue or red. Make a general right? dex yes. check and tell me what you're doing. Uh, what I was going to do was I was going to lean over to the Princess of the Great Hop and I'm going to be like, you know monkeys are full of shit, right? And encourage her to kind of go and spread what? the word you that monkeys are full of shit. You don't need to make a dex check. You don't need to make a dex check. Make a persuasion check. And then I have a blind sense. Right? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 you like four archers. <laughs> Ow, that kid. So he undermined me <laughs> based on that role, but I have a reliable talent when it comes to communicating okay. these things. Yep. So that's going to be a seventeen. Seventeen. Like Gulliver's Still Travel. It's a, it was a DC fifteen, and she immediately just say no more, and just kind of wiggles a couple of her antennas, and you feel your legs almost like double in size, and you can hear almost like a cricket. It sounds like a car, apparently. You are. Uh, hit with the boom, jump. <laughs> Princess of the Grey Top has given you a boom. And there's a couple of. Oh, as people <gasps> the scandal! The the scandal! <laughs> I'm gonna offer her a tiny fist bump. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Entertainingly enough, heroism makes him immune to the frightened condition, which is huge. Because, <laughs> heck. As you look over the edge and you're about to probably shit your pants because yep. you are in a horrified situation of a turtle up in the sky and have a fear of heights. Mm -hmm. you have, you've had this for a while. You would have been trees. actively making wisdom saving throws the entire time you get to an edge, which is, by the way, everywhere. So <laughs> this would have been a 
strategically for the monkeys, this was specific for you. Is that a golf ball? <laughs> That's an egg. Oh, there's yeah, all so sorts of like what hidden. What the fuck? Yeah, there's all sorts of hidden like stuff in here. That's there's the. Oh, that's a golf ball. There's, <laughs> Here's Venek's chair with a golden horn and a, you know, launcher. Hey, that's my chair! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like, this is like, a treasure, a treasure can. It's like, you want some treasure? Okay! And just, you know, launches into people. It's like, there's all sorts of, there's a bunch of, like, I had fun making this. <laughs> so this is Tailspire. Tailspire. It's good shit, look it up. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Just, just you do not need to announce that every time we write. If we don't that. say There's it, act. someone's going to sue. We no. already said it. That's my point. As all this is happening, right. the only person that has not given a boon is Sparks. Is there anything boom. you would like to do or attempt to do to support one side or the other? Ooh, ooh, what you should do is you should try to convince people that the monkey's a good guy and then roll like you usually do. <laughs> <laughs> you can swear you hear foul. So watch him roll a natural twenty bitch. <laughs> I have no way to get to him. <laughs> no, but you see a mirror in front of you and you see people tossing things to the monkey. A lot of people are tossing things to the monkey. Uh, in terms of magical capabilities, boons, items, adding to the treasure hoard, adding to the chaos. I've taken my Mulu around and a frag grenade and I throw it at him. At, just add it. <laughs> just click, click. Make a general uh, strength check for me. Hey, catch! <laughs> We'll get to you in a moment, Kevin. That's kind of cool with the immovable rod. Who knows? That might be a great idea. <laughs> it's gonna suck, and you can catch yourself once, but you can you have enough strength to put yourself wherever you need to be after that. One rolling again. Strength check. Strength check. Yes. Just just for fun flavor. <laughs> Modified twenty. Modified twenty. Egg, you, you just hear egg cuts and you're like, huh? Poosh. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> get, you get smacked in the head. With a rod. <laughs> and uh, what else? Frag grenade. And a frag grenade that you make a general dex check. Yes. Because <laughs> there's a lot of things going on. I, I can see this. I can see this thing go click and float there. And it's a button. Say it's a button to get yeah. my head. Oh, I have got fantastic ideas for that exact eight. scenario some eight. time later. Yeah, it hits oh, you wait, wait. Before. I have heroism. Does that mean I have advantage on every single saving throw or no? It's a dex. It's a dex saving throw that you can see. Oh, so, so as I a do. barbarian, you get advantage but I, anyway. But, but um, I throw a yes, rock at your head. You throw a grenade um, at his head. I, I throw think a that rock. Constitutes a saving throw. I rolled two sixes. Two sixes. Yeah, it hits you in the head. You go a little cross-eyed, like what the fuck? There's golden lights in front of you. You can hear a cat cackling Vedek, and you hear dum -dum -dum, and <laughs> there's little golden cobalt going around your head. <laughs> <laughs> as a grenade and a rod of holding is added to the pile in his feet. Yep. Now, just to let you know about the terrain, Kevin, you had something? Oh, I was going to toss a banana coated with the dust of deliciousness to the monkey. Give him disadvantage. I think with what you've already road. done, you've already expended your capability, because you have a short, narrow window to get boons, and that's it. Before things yeah. are bouncing off the middle. Yeah, so unfortunately it's... Is there... Okay, so I have another... I have a, I have a totally, no, like, out-of-band question. Okay. So... They're gonna do. They're gonna duke it out on this map in the uh, in the in the stands. Mm -hmm. Like of all the people that are standing around, there's gossip. There's deals going See, on. See, that's what talking. I want. That's what I want in on. Like, hey, I, by the way, you are taking uh, notes for uh, uh, for you know um, gambling. So no, no. I'm asking: Is there some kind of officiant or arbiter or enforcer to make sure that people we'll don't get you that from in a moment. stands? Don't worry. This is just another fey politics things of shenanigans behind the board while there's a spectacle going on. This is theater, buddy! Welcome to the jungle! So, we'll get to everyone's we get funny games thing while the fight continues. <laughs> if, there, if there needs to be an anti-cheating enforcer, I kind of want in on that. <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment as Good on you, and you get extra points for that. You immediately start to decipher, oh shit, this is the thing. And you can already pe see people eyeing oh, you fuck. and start to move towards you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> not, not, not like, like that's going to be a fight, but like they have something for you. Oh, bring it on. <laughs> bring it in. Yep. Yeah. But we'll get to that in a moment. So, Eck, 
just to uh, un I understand what is going on. There's treasure everywhere. And this, what I have on the board here, is just, you know, a cursory glance. If I put the amount of treasure that is on here, there would be nowhere to stand. You can use a bonus action whenever you wish to grab something random and roll a d100 to see what you get. Cool. Could be bad, could be good, could be bad. Who knows? It's depends on what on. Remind you, you said no weapons. Make an intelligence check. Would you count Please a, make it. Would you count a frag grenade as a weapon? Okay, I'm about ready to fire my die. Mm-hmm. Um three. I would three? Fragmentation you are well. solo, you are just in the mix. You just remember no weapons. I'm not a, a fragmentation grenade is not a weapon. We'll get to that in That's a an uh, later day. But while that is happening, you do notice on the other side, and the reason why you had a three, because you notice the monkey. Got really fucking big in that short amount of time. You can take him. Yeah. As there's about six different arms that are ethereal make as they go. And it's like. And it's just a six arm ethereal. This is the Shiva 8. Pretty much, yeah. And that's currently just rocking its chest. Shiva 8 picks a new book. Fucking, look at this. Oh, okay. I thought it was lightning around him for a second. It was actually. Oh, there's going lightning behind, behind it that's yeah. causing its hair to kind of, you know, go a little static. I saw the lightning when it was just sitting behind him. Oh, yeah, I thought, he, I thought it was a special him. effect you did on him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Light yourself on fire. He can't grapple you if you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel like almost there's something blurry around it. It's hard to look at it and your eyes are strained on it. And it's almost like moves back and forth and his vision starts to blur on it. And someone casts blur oh. on the monkey. And you can see the monkey just kind of leans down as the legs bulge with muscles that it doesn't have. Hit the middle one! The middle one! Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of shenanigans going on. You don't know what's been cast on the monkey, but you know it's got several boobs rocking under its hood. At this point, roll initiative. I, yes. Now, I, do I get to do anything? No. Mm -hmm. Not right now. Not, no. Because this was everybody else. This was everyone else. And You're the one fighting. Roll it. Yeah. <laughs> initiative. Initiative. You have advantage on initiative, so that's good. And that didn't help at all, you little shit. In other words, this monkey just really wants to That's a nice guy. I like your guy. I did Santa's face, though. Was he able to roll? 14. 14. I was with advantage because on my advantage roll, I rolled a 1. She got a 22. So she goes first. So I'm going to do the first... Uh, an, uh, Thing that's going to be happening, and then we'll get to you guys in the fields, and especially when Kevin comes back. So, immediately, right off the bat, she's going to start jumping. Actually, she's going to start rolling a D100 as she's currently looking for something. Uh, that's right. Oh, wait a minute. I have to determine what. Okay, I did not chain. Um, question to the DM. Mm hmm. I'm willing to do this random if you desire. What do you... Well, it's not your turn. I never have really said what my current state... Uh, I didn't change my state of my... My totem. My talisman. I think you did. I did. I changed it. You removed it. it from fire. I remember that. Um, I, no, I don't remember removing it from fire. I just remember setting it for fire a long time ago. I don't even what I did. I don't remember... Roll changing. a d4. Roll a d4. Oh, okay, how about this? This is going to be a luck die. Roll a d20. Tell me what you roll. Four. Four. And I'm retiring this die. Put it in the dunce chair, please. <laughs> dunce chair We're going to say it's still on the fire. <laughs> okay. Because you, ch you, you just kind of forgot thing. about it, and it's been on fire ever since because it's okay. kind of smoldering everything you've been walking by. Yep. Yep, that's fair. That's what I would anticipate that it might be still be on, so. You get to watch him die. Nicholas is gonna be so disappointed. Oh no. So the monkey just ran and it, this monkey is blitzing fast as it goes about 
Uh, at this turn, uh, about 120 feet just for movement. As you go, and jumps, hits uh, a uh, top of the area, looks at the mirror, goes, and then jumps to the other pillar, and is currently looking through uh, piles of treasure. Making another investigation check. Natural five. Still not the fine one that's looking, and she's gone. Where is he? Where is he? It is your turn. Okay. <laughs> Intercept. Intercept. All right, my Intercept. turn. Only one the here. Intercept. Don't let the look. I have to. Uh, I'm too far away to, to rage at this point. You where can. is it? Yeah. So I don't know. What, I mean, well, where You're am not I? Jump. Would you like to know the distance? Yes. Um, um, yes. Oh, it's look at that. Look at that. About 21 tiles away. 21 tiles. Oh, that's, that's five, nice. It's 100 that's feet. Yeah. That's cool. It's five, five foot per tile, right? So it's yep. 100 feet. 100 feet. Okay. Uh, where's the nearest treasure pile near me? Uh, at your feet. I'm gonna start digging. Okay. Would you like to search for something, or just uh, pick up something I'm, random? I'm gonna rage. Okay, bonus action rage. Oh, no, wait. Looking is, is, is the bonus action, huh? Yes. You can also replace it with your action, no problem. Sure. If you're um, looking for something specifically, you can use your entire action. I'm looking for the heaviest object I can find. Make an investigation check. The heaviest object you can find. A giant lump of gold. It's just a bar. That'll work. <laughs> okay. Do I? What kind of checks do I have with? What else do I get with um, heroism? You get uh, uh, six temporary hit. Points. Six temporary hit points. What else? That's about it. It's not great. And it's not great. And immune to fear, which is saving your butt right now. Mm-hmm. Skill checks, not so much. Now I already had five mm-hmm. temporary hit points, so that makes it eleven, right? Because they stack. They do. Temporary hit points do not stack. Temporary hit points do not stack, so I have... No, so wait, the, the temporary five hit points was, was from, from the, per food. And that, the, so which one ever, whichever one is greater... Six, okay, I'm okay. at six now. Okay. okay. Cool, all right. Um, so, okay, so it's going to be a nine. A nine uh, for investigation? Investigation, investigation, yeah, it's intelligence, okay. nine. I get to roll straight up on this stuff. I mean, I'm literally a one-stop shop of constitution and strength, and that's it. Um, roll a d100. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay, you find a bowl. You're looking for something heavy, and you found something heavy. At first you thought it was just a bunch of gems on a plate, but then you were like, wait a minute, there's a bunch of stones, rocks, and gems uh, plastered into the stone itself. It's on this ornate basin that's about ten, uh, about seven feet in uh, uh, width that you pick up that is uh, 50 pounds, if not more. You have no idea what this is, but it tinkles with magic. I uh, say over to the monkey, I bet you can't throw it higher than me, and I toss it straight up. Straight up? Mm-hmm. Make a, make a strength check. I'm raging. Yeah. Is this so it's advantage? with advantage, yeah. So it's strength check, not saving throw. So mm-hmm. check's just going to be by plus, right? Mm-hmm. Um, 18. 18. So you take a few swords and you kind of almost like do a twirl as you you toss it a good 20 feet into the air, which is impressive for a 50 pound weight. And it sort of and just falls and falls and falls. And I, I toss it straight what up. What are you I toss trying it to do when you're doing this? I'm generally confused. I said no weapons. Yeah. So I'm doing a contest of strength. The monkey looks at you like... The monkey wants to beat you to a pulp. So you're trying to change it to a contest of strength. You said... Okay. 
Okay, let me just remind you, <laughs> Mr. Three on Intelligence. <laughs> As everyone just kind of looks, he goes, what? What? The fuck? Just a silence draws across Yeah, everyone just, just kind of goes, what? And you hear, hey, dumbass! It's a fist fight! She wants to beat you to the pulp! You said no death! And no weapons! And, just, and now it's the monkey's turn. <laughs> Your quest log has been updated. <laughs> yeah, you can, you're just looking at the monkey right now and she, she's literally just like, what? Well, that, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Task failed successfully? No, just failure. Just mental mental breakdown and <laughs> mental failure. Um, you... <laughs> she's going to do one more well, investigation shit. check. I was, I was hoping yeah. that might work. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping that might work. She's going to jump to here. <laughs> rustles through a bunch of, of the horde and picks up a small little doohickey. And, and, and by her standards, it's like a ring finger, but it's meant for, like, you know, a big gauntlet glove that's bedazzled and has one massive gem at the center of it if it closes all the fists and there's a gem here. And she just goes, oh! And lifts it up with one hand and it starts, uh, this gauntlet starts to bright, uh, light and a beep and shoots three balls of fire at you. <laughs> All right. Uh, does, a, does a 19 hit? No. Natural one doesn't hit. Uh... And that's when the that's, that's like when the, the axe swings in and the the head jumps drops into the shell. <laughs> so as three uh, balls of fire come out of this blasting gauntlet, um, none of them hit, but there's just an open salvo. You get in the sense of weapons to the fey mean a little bit of difference of like what is a weapon. Mm. It is your turn again. All right, I'm going to look for some. I'm going to continue digging, and I'm going to look for um, something that I. So it's none of my weapons, but I guess we can use what we find here. So I'm going to. Technically, she didn't even have like line of sight of contact with you, so she just opened up on like a pillar. Oh, no wonder she didn't hit, because <laughs> she couldn't see you anyway. All right, uh, I'm going to continue digging. Okay. And I'm going to look for some semblance of an object that I can use to... Uh, uh, You're going to have to move a little bit because you've moved a giant pile away from your feet. Right. So you can move like five feet to the right or to another pillar and there'll be more stuff. All right. Let me jump to another pillar. What's okay. the nearest pillar? So there's a bunch of vines to your left and then there's just a walk-on pillar to your right. Mm. So do you want the higher ground or do you just want... Higher to ground. The higher ground. Make a general athletics check with advantage. To me, relatedly, that removing the self-preserving sense of fear from the turtle was probably not the greatest plan. And actually, it's probably the. Uh, it did help him, but mm, he's not making fear checks 20, anymore. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. You make it up there like a boss. Make another investigation check. What are you looking for? I'm looking for any object that I can wield in my hands to swing. That's not like a bowl that I can throw. That's like a weapon? Well, uh, apparently no weapons. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to look for... I can't use wands. Uh, There's a bunch of wands all over the place. You can absolutely use yes, wands. This all right, is fine. Fiction. All right, all right. Grab a wand point and push the button. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? You're holding the wand yet. All right, right. I'm, uh, I'm going to look for some wands. Okay, so make an investigation check. An Chris, one no? person. Nope. I mean, are you proficient with the <laughs> wand nope. limitation? Yeah. 12. 12. What's yeah, you pick up a wand. It is currently like half broken and you see that like the tip is already like half bent on one side, but it seems to be uh Oh, I wonder where I left that. Arcane, <laughs> with arcane like uh, uh like verberations. Uh, I don't know if this is safe. Uh, uh can I see? Ooh, that still works. He's you... jumped up high. 
can barely oh, see can her. Barely you see can it. see her like head. Are you a spell sniper? Uh, I'm, <laughs> going, to, I'm going, going to. Oh god, this is going to be scary. Well, we're either going to blow my ass up or we're going to blow that pillar up. I shake that up. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Wait, is that what you think magic? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I'm limited well, power of lightning going 20. everywhere. Latent sorcerer, just please, just tell me he's a latent sorcerer. <laughs> Nick was just offended from another play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Eight. Yeah, I said 17. Okay. Oh, uh, 19. Yes. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the 8 went, go, uh, went off first, so I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> it I'm, turns I'm, out he needed a better angle, so we boosted himself up with throw. an explosion. Can I see this? <laughs> I'm going to say no, dude. That's right. You're All right. Just for being. Incompetent? Yes, incompetent. 18 plus my <laughs> dex saving throw? Yeah. So it's a plus two. So uh, so you don't fall 20, 12. 20, 20, 20 uh, uh, modified 20. Final answer? Yes. Okay. 18 natural, oh, 18 natural. So you don't 20. fall prone, but as you start swinging it through the air, like recklessly incompetence, uh, there's magical bulls out as three match, uh, as quite literally three full bursts of uh, magic missile go off in your hands. Uh, three of them would have tried to hit you, uh, but you made your dexterity saving throw as it's not very accurate right now. <laughs> it's a, and, it's it's not a magic missile, it's a semi-magic missile. Yeah, it's a semi-magic missile. That was my as, porn name. Yeah, so it's a magic indirect. <laughs> magic semi missile yeah. <laughs> magic so you cast a equivalent still magic. You, so you use the full equivalent of a nine charge magic okay. missile 18 17 19 okay yeah so we're gonna say that the first three miss but they don't hit you either okay so uh and then it's gonna be say three four five six seven eight so eight seven six five so five magic missiles go towards the monkey and the monkey immediately goes, oh, 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 and it sees the magic missile, a full anime, like a bunch of rockets going up, <laughs> many of them hitting the rock in front of it, and as it, ah, it just back, back up, and from its scream, it bellows for us and casts shield, and all the magic missiles. Shield protects you from magic missiles. Yes, it does. It does. Someone gave it a boon. Uh, <laughs> fuck. But it used its boon. <laughs> and you just hear echoing like like angry monkey sounds on the other side of that pillar. It's just carpet bombed on that side of the pillar right now. Not, uh, in fact. Oh, you're, you're literally doing real-time changes here? Yeah. Look at that. You just killing the, oh, the debris from the... And I took off the top layer. You were lit, You just literally dragged down the top layer. Wow. Yep, yeah, there you go. So it's not embedded. <laughs> Sorry, going back from... Yep. But you can see the monkey now. Congrats. Uh, and that's going to be under your turn. Now! We get to everyone in the stage. So, as you guys are doing your boons, you're next to the crickets. You're being Vedic. You're off to the side. Last game, you were saying that you were writing down uh, bettings. Yeah, you bet. Okay, so I want you to make an intelligence saving throw real quick. Intelligent saving throw. Saving throw. You int? Saving throw? Yeah, hang on. Give me a moment. I don't have to ask for this. I actually have to go look this up. Just because there's a battle doesn't mean the Fade Court sits down and watch. I mean, they watch, but... 25. 25. Would you roll one? <laughs> there's a two. 14. What? what? Wait, what? I rolled a 14. I got, got a 25. 24. Well, 20. That's uh, oh, I'm looking. <laughs> no, what? Make it also perception check, just for fun. Oh, that's much different. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. You start to hear gossip as you're writing these things down. First of all, what is money in the Fey? What do they find valuable here? 
favors and, human souls. Yes. And as soon as you go, oh, I'm taking secret, bears, and you kind of think secret. for a moment, you quite hear ten labored blasts of an aardvark. Ten aardvark labors. <laughs> that is not what I said! <laughs> Enunciate! <laughs> and then you hear three phoenix eggs. Fe Female <laughs> and <laughs> Wow. And, I'm sorry. And, fuh, fuh, what? <laughs> three female eggs. Ooh, ooh, phoenix eggs. Phoenix eggs, female and fertile. And <laughs> at the time you stop up there, you stop there, and you realize, wait a minute, I have to pay this out if they win. Act! Act! <laughs> God damn it! Kill that monkey! <laughs> and you realize you just wrote down two pay binding contracts. Yep. As a house better. Kill the monkey! Are you Kill the up? monkey! And they're both for the monkey's winnings. Uh, do you continue writing down bets? In for a penny. Pound, pennies. <laughs> what's the word? What's the saying? Okay, pennies the answer, the answer is... The answer is yes, because okay. because there have to be like the odds, the 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 return. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna owe somebody six phoenix eggs. I might owe somebody a phoenix feather off that one because I'm giving odds. I'm you know like like I'm doing doing odds and stuff like that. But also there have to be bets to counterbalance on Eck, right? Somebody's mm -hmm. betting on Eck. Well, somebody please bet on the turtles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I have no persuasion. We're all persuasion, oh, bitch. no! Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. I forgot it was a bigger list, so I- 18! 18. So. I am willing to put two memories of lost souls on the turtle. Okay, write that down. You write- you better write this oh, down. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we're actually- we're actually doing this, okay. You, yeah! <laughs> all right, look, I am keeping book. Please, hang on, please. Shh, this takes just a second. So I'm going to do that as I walk past him, but all I right. would like... What were the original two? Sorry, so uh, three phoenix eggs. Three phoenix eggs, female, female and fertile. fertile. 30 labored breaths of an aardvark. Aardvark? Oh, how specific. Oh, yeah. Gonna be honest, it probably can't tell the difference between an aardvark and an anteater. Fair. I have to spell aardvark. You never thought I'd think I would know that. <laughs> Alright, it has two A's at the beginning. It does <laughs> have two A's at the beginning. It has three A's, actually. A book of three. vile darkness. A what? A book of vile darkness. Jesus Christ. You might not have to go to Nicholas for that or one. Or Eck, or... This one will be for Eck. The underdog. The physical manifestation of smell for the monkey. Manifestation of smell? Mm -hmm. As in Phys ability to or the concept of? A Make an insight check. It's a physical. Physical manifestation Those of Those have concept. different values. He would need to know that. <laughs> yes, but this is the thing. The physical manifestation of But it doesn't of count as binding unless it's. Make it the physical manifestation of smell? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I may be able to trade away X smell, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a very small dragon on Hey! <laughs> and I know this is a weird statement, but four ounces of horse grain. Ounces? Ounces. Ounces of horse what? Grain. Grain. Okay. Good. For or against? Uh, for. For. Heck. Ounces. Wow, they're not willing to give up much. It's ants. Ten free days worth of squats atop of Mountain Peak. Four egg. Ten free squats. days? Uh, free days, uh, free, uh, uh, pain free days. Ten oops. pain free days worth of squats atop of Mountain Peak. So you can squat for ten days for free without pain. Well, if you win, twenty days. 20 days for free that's on the top of the mountain. That's not how odds work. <laughs> you have clearly never gambled. <laughs> and I think you should leave it to the professionals. <laughs> Two tubs of liquid remorse. Two that tubs. Ain't worth I need right? No, no, no. I need that at least in kilograms. <laughs> 
Hey, you said you, you're going to continue writing this down. You did. He's literally asking. For Could be a forty-pound vat for all or forty-gallon vat for all we know. You, you get out in an argument with for or against. <laughs> against. Eck. So for the monkey. And, and when you I get in an argument, what's a time to you? You're literally speaking to a minotaur with a pot belly. Like, well, a time is like you're a tub. I'm a tub, yeah. uh, a, bar a barrel equivalent called a blood tub is seven gallons, by the way. Why do you know this? this? Yeah, I, I bet a daisy chain. <laughs> like, like, literally just a daisy chain. That you made while standing there. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it is currently uh, one for the, for the monkey, monkey. two for uh, Eck. So Eck is not in favor in terms of like who's going to win. And by the way, that's not made up fact, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and then a, what looks to be a small bunny folk, uh, male, that looks like a cowboy, literally has a six shooter on the size of his hip, and a sheriff's badge that you've never seen the markings from. When so, you say small, he like, means normal size. Is he taller than me? He's slightly shorter than me. So he's taller than me. Yes. yes. So okay. he is taller than you. The hat. It's the hat. It's the it's the it's the, it's the, it's the half gallon He's hat. He's got the up ear. He's got the down ear. He just kind of gurgles. <laughs> yeah, that's what all the ladies say. Uh, I bet a book mark for the final little lady over there and points towards the monkey. A uh, full what? Betting what? A bookmark. A bookmark? Bookmark. You've read books before, huh? One bookmark. Are you one of those uneducated folk? Against. A vial of venom from a platypus. Of plat... We were really bringing out They're all the things I could tell. <laughs> they are venomous. Yes, they are. Yeah! Platypuses are fucked this up. This is that whole poison versus venom thing. Yes, yeah. they are venomous. They're venomous, not poisonous. Yes. Got it. Vial, that is that for or against? Uh, that's going to be for. Is there venom toxin? And lastly, for Ek, a whole heap of autumn leaves. A... So how does this work? <laughs> we just choose something we want and bet. Make a history a disadvantage. Me? Yeah. Well, yes, because you're not fit. Heck, Daddy wants those Phoenix eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. Five. I'm looking. That's a five. I'm you looking. have no fucking idea. You are no no saying some weird things. I want monkey um, paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm actually into a bunch of these weird things. Like three fertile. Feet. So wait, every, is, this is what people have and what people want. This is what they interpret as payments. This is what they. Of course, you know when somebody welches on these bets, it means that we're gonna have to go like break fey knees at the end of this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I love this idea. <laughs> is this what they want or what they have? I very desperately want you to have to go break kneecaps over a heap of leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, what's the measurement of heap? <laughs> Someone explain to me what this means. <laughs> I don't understand. It's what they have, and they want things of equivalent value paid back to them. There you go. Which means that, like, if I were to win, I bet the memories. That doesn't necessarily mean I get paid back in memories. Knowing him, I'll likely get my two memories back, and then something else on top of it that he happens to have in his bag, which he will take out of my bag and hand back to me. But... <laughs> Am I wrong? No. <laughs> so, if I were to say, bet charisma on him... Then you will lose the little bit of charisma you have. But he wins. But if you win, you get more. No, if he wins, he gets his back and something of equivalent and value. And something of equivalent value. Which means that whatever the charisma of a warforged is worth to a fey... Not would, very much. There you go. 
Oh, okay. You're gonna get two of those plastic things that hold the end of shoelaces together. Yeah. <laughs> they're called aglets. Called aglets. Sp- speaking of which, Sparks, make a perception check. As you're having this conference, as everyone's bumping into each other, moving over, and you notice Ve- uh, Vedic is currently getting like shuffled off to the side, separated from the group. But you know, he's got like a green, like a like like visor on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the people, suddenly everyone's got like these tickets that are waving in front of you. <laughs> perception. Yeah. 13. 13? Pathetic the bulky. I feel I should get a cut since I precipitated all of the... Oh, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Me and you are actively having a conversation, so I'm assuming we're still together. Okay. Right. Sparks, you know this right off the bat. Now, it was a little hard in the beginning because everyone's just like, fantastical creatures, strange oddities, and just bad shit insanity to your mortal comp- comprehension. And you don't realize that you're looking at the Warforged right now. You see a Warforged, or a quite literally, like, circle barrel body, stick torso, that's like uh, the lower part of his torso, stick arms that go to boulder, uh, like, almost like a barrel shape, stubby little fingers that's currently holding a halberd over his shoulder, uh, and equally uh, disproportionate, like, T uh, hips where his butt would be. So it just, like, literally stops and goes into a T of, like, two balls. And then it sticks again, and then bigger, uh, like, bottom parts of the leg, thighs. So it's a lot of circle upon circle upon stick upon circle kind of make. And wherever so the sticks are... So and circles on it. Yes, pretty much. Uh, Nine-foot-tall individual... That currently has moss growing upon his armored uh, proportion, with its head that is currently on the middle of its torso and sucking in. That has two beady eyes that seem to be uh, smoking with a yellow smoke towards it. That is currently just sitting off to the corner and playing with a bird on its fingertips. But you know for a fact that this is a warforged hmm. in the fit. And then you notice that. Its neck lurches forward as a golden, almost, you want to say noose in the beginning, but no, it's a collar that has been drawn down to a maybe two inch height, uh, like th- uh, about a foot height, and is tugged by a plant sunflower person. Literally, like a plant person with a sunflower face that just pulls it <coughs> and, like, and speaks Sylvan. You speak Sylvan? Come on, Toy, we got stuff to do and bets to place. Excuse me, excuse me, it goes over to the vet- Vedic. I placed this big boy here, my manservant, and I want another one. For the monkey. Do you deal in slavery, Vedic? In the Feywild? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, if they lose, they lose him. And you get that. Oh, I'm not gonna lose. Were you inqu- asking me? Or were you- I'm asking you, because I'm, I'm talking back and forth because right. you're knowledgeable. Right. Um, so, the they will lose, if they lose, then they lose what they bet. So if they lost, they would lose him. Mm-hmm. Um, they get back. You might be able to swing. You want this guy set free, right? Like, that's what's going on right now. You're very concerned in that direction. You want him set free? Okay. So, what you could swing is you could go talk to the asshole. And you... (laughs) (laughs) About six other people also lift up their hands like you call. (laughs) And you could talk him into, even if he's paying out, um, he could pay out something else because this guy said what he wanted but he doesn't necessarily get paid what he wants he just gets paid something of equivalent value so he could be like the asshole could be like well this here phoenix egg is equivalent to one and a half man servants so i'm gonna pay you that and half that he believes and that is what i consider to be equivalent to paying you team man servants and by the way um with each transaction of that kind of theoretical statement it can, takes a charisma check. Okay. Now, mindful when? who is making that depiction and how charismatic that person is. Back to Quinn. Noted. Thank you. Educational. I like There's it. currently a six-foot raven staring you down. 
With your passive insight check, you realize that you're currently not on the timeline, or on a timeline that, even for God's standards, has theoretically unlocked the secrets of the future of what happened to its domain. So, the word of someone in the court of the Asili Council suddenly given a very flamboyant uh, depiction of an uprising in the Raven's Palace itself got its attention. That's what it originally brought cool. it to uh, standard here, and then you called it your girlfriend, which brought it to Poké. Uh, you already, when this fight started happening, gently, but with the force of a dying sun behind it, with gentle at first, but you know that it will not be gentle if you say no, a Invitation of inquiry upon your memories within the Raven's Palace. And would like the Raven and the Raven Queen to replay all memories that you've had in the Raven's Palace. Um, she wants okay. to mindfuck you. <laughs> if she, if that, you, I'm going to mind fuck it. I'm going to let that happen, but I'm going to intersperse in there to possibly imagine images of me and the Raven Queen inter intertwined. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Go make a general wow. persuasion check. Because you were going to wow. have to make a persuasion check automatically just Boy, to see her move. I thought I had balls, but wow. Yeah, and then you're trying to do that. 39. Holy shit. What did you roll on the die? 19. Jesus. Okay. Raise your hand if you're surprised. Would you like to <laughs> add? You have a plus fucking 20. <laughs> He's from the Fae. He would, that's the only way he survived in the Fae. All right. And that's why it's a minus 10. And this is probably how we ended up, oh, wait, wait. We ended up on it's the world It's only 29 tour. because it is minus 10. This is not towards the court right now, so this is individual. So it's, probably it's a little different. World turtle. So, as her mind shoots in like an ice dagger to the center point of your nervous system, you lose control of your body. You don't move as you just kind of stand there, as your eyes go dull, and a fast-forward replay of every encounter that you've had inside the Raven's Keep plays through again. And actually, I'm gonna... And you play this... We got this. ...theatric... ...addition... ...to this stream of memories. And there's a split second of silence as it stops just to listen to that depiction like three, four times over. And for a split second, you think that she's going to smite you as if a woman is about to smack you. But this is a full-blown god. S. S. And then almost a snort, chuckle amusement of the balls of this person doing what they're doing and then moves on to the rest of what's inside your mind definitely knows that it was just a story but again flirtation to a god is has to be ballsy and then she leaves her mind roll one last persuasion check Thirty-nine. Jesus. What? Two nineteens. Um. So wait, is does the minus ten apply? You mentioned it. not for this kind of situation. Okay. Uh, when you're addressing the court, it becomes a minus ten gotcha. because everyone has bonuses, and then yada yada yada. It's like it's it gets crazy real fast. But individual, we'll, we'll just keep it like that. The mind shows up. Sorry, a whisper in your ear. The raven is gone, and it seems that the raven, for most people here, could not see it. And I have not been describing most or any of the higher ports of Fae because they have two forms. 
And you notice that people have been actually passing through her form, and a select few have not and been keeping their distance. What are you playing at? I didn't hear quite angry at it. What are you playing at, Lord Warden? I have aspirations beyond the protection of this realm. That's it? Well, that's it for now. I have responsibilities to this cadre with which I've thrown in my lot. And there are a certain select list of threats to be dealt with. While I have quite a bit of faith in our abilities, I know that some threats will be beyond us. And perhaps ascension to a higher level of existence would, uh, would be necessary. Are you suggesting that you will play to me? I, I can't hear Are you. Are you suggesting... Where is his speaker, by the way, David? Oh, no, right there. goddamn. Are you suggesting that you are willing to pray to me? Yes, and offer more than simple prayers. She takes a few moments. You've already met my capacity for evangelism. Mm. Imagine if that were sharing your word. Using your previous persuasion already. You are a peculiar thing. To deny yourself freedom of the current path that you were forced into and then to take a step further to try to swoo me. You are something that most people would kill on sight. An elf? No, it's not that bad. <laughs> you take 15 points of necrotic damage right off the bat. <laughs> I, I take 7 points of necrotic damage and it was worth it. <laughs> you look a little paler, like a little more gaunt. That's just working in the tech industry. Yeah. But cut of me intrigued. I look forward to see how you dance between lines of the courts. Don't fail. And with a flutter of the wings, it <laughs> the raven quickly and spursely disappears into the shadows. Gone. Understand, my dear, as I intend to play the music. She does not answer back. I. But she did hear. Funny. She did hear. Oh, I know. Hey, in order to, you know, betray the goddess, you can't just win with one nat 20. Sorry, bub, but that's not how it goes. Uh, <laughs> right. That said, let's get back to the combat. So. Please kick the shit out of this monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and currently, everyone is currently screaming and yelling through these scrying portals. They are cheering on the monkey, and they're booing you into oblivion. Kick his ass! I see what makes you cheer. Your boos mean nothing. Shut up, dragon fucker! I mean, yes, that's a compliment, I guess. <laughs> it's just a somebody's <laughs> somebody's mouth wants them to turn into a chicken. I'm just saying. Bring it, bitch! I know you're a lesser drink. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go kill someone. <laughs> 
So that's happening. Like, 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 like all st- all <laughs> screaming is his like prime hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bunch of smaller folks, so it's like equal size and everything. It's some sort of uh badger I'm gonna, I'm gonna a, come back wearing a skull. <laughs> uh, sorry, not a badger. It looks like a raccoon person with beady little eyes with a bunch of trash on it. Oh good, I need yes! I needed a new hat. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, this trash pad is about to take out the trash. I love this notion. I'm really hoping that as you go, you take the hat, toss it off, it lands on Sparks and magically fits him, and now he's the bookie. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna go great. What? I'm sitting on his shoulder. It's <laughs> so I'm just writing. I'm described. You're just you're, you're the one saying stuff. This is fine. You spelled ghost wrong. <laughs> There's an H. All right. So Where, where's the H? <laughs> am I writing in? Am I writing in common or silver? I don't he's writing a draconic. <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter if I write back in silver or common? Yeah, he's gonna jump over Just here. Common, it's okay, bud. We'll get through it. And he's gonna open up three more times with a circle of plastic. <laughs> no, no, no. You, you missed the point. He handed you his book. Not like fire. He handed you his book. This is fire damage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look, and you're writing in it in common. I'm sure his book not wouldn't hit. even let you write in common. <laughs> Natural twenty hits. So the first the two, book. as the That's first right. two, open up. Yes. Sorry. As these, listen, this gauntlet just starts shooting off like firing fists towards you. <laughs> Two of them just bounce off of your already elemental like form, and that just <laughs> shooting off like fireworks, <laughs> making a spectacle. Like, as the last one just comes out with a middle finger, that fire flips it out, <laughs> and just shoots a flaming middle finger towards you, hitting with a natural twenty. Are you immune to fire damage right now? Ooh. I hope you are. <laughs> Because you're, you're, because you're there's two animal. middle fingers to your one. <laughs> so let's just. I have two guys. I have, before we go ahead, I got one for each of you. I got two middle fingers, one for each of you. So that would have been uh, like 24 points of fire damage. I and am immune. You to are fire. immune to fire damage because your circlet is to fire right now. I rolled unlucky. That as the, as you just <laughs> almost uh, enervate and everything turns to dust from paper and scrolls around you. Just like, yeah, let's go! As the fire. <laughs> it's almost like little geysers of fire start erupting around where you're standing. Can't give me the jimmy! Yeah, and the monkey just goes, ooh! And just takes a couple of the ethereal fists and just cracks its knuckle. Poke him in the paella! <laughs> Working on it. And it's gonna jump for the rest of its movements. Oh, nice dish. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Gonna poke him right David in the gets seat. the joke. It's a very old reference. <laughs> gonna poke him right in the seat. And sh- uh, she's gonna burn a key point to take patient defense. And just kind of just goes over and just. All right. It is your turn. Uh, can I see uh, that direction? Uh, there we go. So how far is that that pillar? That looks like one of the tallest ones. Uh, this one. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you no. turn to your left. I guess it was. I guess there's two. So of them. I talking yeah, about that, like that, one. Here? that one. Where the mirror yeah. is. Well, whatever that is. Whatever that is. The other mirror. There's two the, mirrors. If you look there. around, there's a lot of mirrors here. <laughs> All right, there's two. Oh mirrors. wait, you, there, you can go through the mirrors. That might actually be a fun. I was saying that was going to be the first thing I tried. Actually, I was trying to go Sure, it could be a mirror of entrapment, you assholes. Well, and then if you look at it, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long fight if that's the case. No, it's going to be a short fight. <laughs> so, right, so uh, where am I? Okay, I'm there. So. You have to look at the mirror of entrapment for, like, what? A full... You kind of got the high ground, so in Star Wars terms, you're on beat. Oh, no, no, make the heroic leap. Make the... Yeah! (laughs) And he jumps too far. (laughs) With. You do have triple the jump right now. So he jumps too far. Okay. Is grappling a bonus action? It's like a jump. Grappling is one of your attack actions. Oh, one of my attack actions. Remember, gentlemen, totals can jump up to 30 feet. It's just jump right over us. So, five times five is 25 feet. Is a strength uh, strength attack action as well, like a shove or a push? Yes, it's all athletics checks. Okay, cool. And you have advantages because you're raging. Cool. And I'm going to say, what does he he have on him? uh, On the, the monkey? Yeah. Right now, it's a full golden furred female monkey. 
Uh, we're talking like that baboon kind of situation. You're fighting the wife, not the monkey that you actually I know. I know. That one is currently in the stands that is going. I'm looking at this as a uh, sexual dimorphism. <laughs> I want you to know, like, I actually thought about going over in the uh, stands while this fight was going on. All right, here we go. The monkey. You can. Here we no, go. No, no, no. So Vedic can't. He's actually not that character. Here, here we go. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> so, to answer your question, uh, is wearing a, what looks to be a draconic, almost like kilt. Uh, it's like a kilt made out of like uh, beads, uh, sorry, of like scales of red dragon. You don't know what it does, but it seems to be almost like enervating with its key, essentially. Okay. As you see the pulsating of uh, the various arms that it has. Yeah, uh, that's the trick. Uh, Shut off the I'm head. not sure if a head on is, is, is the point of action at this point. Normally I would do this, but I think I need to try and outsmart this thing. <laughs> so this is going to be a real short fight. <laughs> All right, where's a, where's another pillar I can jump to? Well, uh, if we zoom out, by the way, there you you're okay. So, so if you're trying to outsmart this thing, you're trusting to luck. You don't have the kind of yes, range. I know, but I don't have the. So there's one I, of there's. No, no, I want to get okay. Where's one of those mirror things, or whatever? Oh, you're looking for a mirror? Yeah. Make a perception check. Where's the closest one I can get? Make to? a perception check. I'm not just going to show you where it is. Ten. Ten. Okay. No perception. Sorry. Perception. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. There are two mirrors close oh. by, kind of equal distance. There's one over here. How? Oh, what's the distance on that? There, it's right. currently six tiles. So that's thirty feet. Mm -hmm. There's. Sorry. It's close to me, isn't it? Yeah. So it's over in the corner. There's one over here. Wait. It's right next to me. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Okay, there no. we go. There's one over here that's about 10 tiles. So and there's that's one... That's, that's uh, 50 feet. Yeah, and there's one at the throne. We're going to the throne? How far is the throne? That's about nine tiles. So the nine tiles is... So technically, this is the nine one that's Nine times five is, is 45 feet. So this one right here... Okay. Is the closest one, which is All six right. tiles. And there's ten feet. But it is a little down. Okay, it is a little down. What? A, okay, the one that's going up. The reason why um, I don't have any movement to the other ones. Okay, because I need ten foot of movement. Otherwise, I can only jump twenty two feet. No, I can jump thirty three feet. I can jump. You get ten feet out, right, sir. By standing, I can jump thirty three feet. Times three. That is times three. Eleven feet standing jump. I can do sixty six feet. Because long jump, jump is three times your strength score. Correct. Um, oh, I looked up the, the jump calculator. I yeah, run. but he's still limited by the amount of movement that he can make in a certain in a single turn. Well, if, this is the dash, thing in jump. Just because you don't make your full movement uh, in the uh, jumpy phase doesn't mean you just drop momentum and Correct. drop straight. But I also could just be I can do a dash transferring action. in your movement so that you're like balanced. doesn't matter. I already have a base movement of 50 feet anyway, so um, I can use jump. dash to jump the other distance. So um, You can make it to that one. So I can make it to that. But I need 10 foot. In order to jump 66 feet, feet, I need 10 foot of movement. You've got 10 feet right there. Now, I don't want to jump. You're an athlete, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you five feet. No, I'm not no, an athlete. Not an no, athlete. I did not choose an athlete as a, as a feat. Okay, you can still do it, though. So, no, I, I'm good. Um, I can jump to any of these. Well, yep. Jumping up is the other question. You have the potential of jumping to any of them. You still need to make an athletic. There should be a real stickler for it. The rules never say that the 10 feet of movement has to be in the direction you can jump. Yeah, I'm not going to be a stickler for that. You can do it. I'm not going to worry about okay. the 10 feet. All right, cool. I want to get as high as I can. So where's the highest one that has a... Mirror? Well, you're pretty high up. The highest one... Let's go to the throne. Fuck this. The throne? Yeah. Pass, okay. pass the monkey. Over the monkey, so that's gonna, monkey. that's a big jump. <laughs> oh, nice. So that's going to be nine times. That's forty five. Uh, nine times five is forty five feet. Okay, I need. I have a movement base movement speed of speed of uh, uh, fifty. Yes. So I don't. And I, you I have don't a jump use of, my bonus action. What is your jump? Um, I can jump sixty six feet with my jump true because activated. you have the jump shell and everything so yeah you don't even make a need to athletics check yeah i pulled you, i pulled a jump calculator yeah, already yeah thank you and so yeah you just kind of do, 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 do. you quite literally take a few steps out uh grind the feet bah, 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 and immediately just cracking the stove underneath you because you are 500 plus pounds cool. <laughs> 
and go right. <sighs> right onto the throne. Okay, I stand there. Mm -hmm. uh, how, he's, he's probably he's jumping distance to me probably now. Yep. Uh, I he mean, probably, potentially, yeah. Potentially. Okay, you know what? Um, here's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You don't have the oh oh the elementals? <laughs> no, the um. The, the the grenade I twist the grenade, it and it okay. starts the the the, the, the pieces yeah you don't have the grenade because you didn't catch it oh I didn't catch you didn't it. catch grenade nope there were too many things coming at him so you threw it and it hit his head and it went oh, on the floor fuck it's still there it's still there well, in the treasure I'm, I'm piles one of those pillars <laughs> fuck <laughs> Right, there's only one of the two that all right all right well, so, that changes things in the future a random up he's gonna fire a grenade. <laughs> and go, what does this well, do? Like, what does this do? Let me twist it. So in its way, it's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift for someone else in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then I am now going to... And when you land at the top of this building, you find a monkey throne with, like, about a dozen or so half-beaten and chewed upon, uh, like, crowns and tier uh, Tourette's. Tourette's? Uh, um... <laughs> Circuits, tiaras, tiaras, okay. tiaras uh, and a one mighty big mirror that is surprisingly clean. That is just has a bunch of, and it takes you a few moments, but it's a bunch of smooches, like someone's been kissing the mirror itself. Okay. Um, I'm going over, mm -hmm. not looking into the mirror. Okay. Grabbing the mirror from the back. Okay. And uh, holding it out uh, and, and waiting behind it. Okay. So you're going to take the mirror. Yep. I'm going to hold the mirror. Look at that. You can move the mirror and everything. So let's just put you over here for now. Yeah. Behind the mirror. And you're going to move it over here behind the mirror, huh? Well, um, yeah. I'm trying to get the mirror between. Yeah. So it's going to land. It's got to land. If he wants to get to me, he's going to land in front of the mirror. We'll just do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. So you have the mirror and you place it in front of you. No mm -hmm. problem. You have plenty of actions to do so. And you just wait for the mirror pointed towards the monkey. As the monkey turns around, goes, Woo! And just kind of, mm -hmm. That's actually going to make a naked way. So that wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Sparks. Smart portal. Natural 17 and just goes and jumps up over. It's actually, no, and I need to make oh, this one flying. Oh, and I need to make her flying real quick so that I don't drop her. The GM tools, I need you to be size up. No. Um, where is. Ah, here we go. Flying. She's not actually flying, but. She's going to jump over to the wall, grab it, because she doesn't have enough room uh, to uh, get over there. And it's going to start crawling over, and she is a monkey, so she doesn't need to make any checks. This is literally her home. It's going to go up. It's yeah, you. Shit. And uh, all six arms. Six. All six arms and three tails, she all bathed through. in golden ethereal light, what? starts pounding in your back. So, with um, it, I've, I, I, okay, I've been attacked each round, so my rage is still. Uh, yeah, you've been doing stuff this whole battle. I'm not going to be picking on that. You're still raging. I'm still. Well, I'm still would be raging yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, bonus action. I would have re raged anyway. So she is hasted. So keep that in mind. Okay. First attack. We're gonna do a twenty-one to hit. Hits. Okay. Does a twenty-one hit? Yes, hits. Bonus action flurry of blows. Natural nineteen. That'll definitely hit. Does a fifteen hit? No. Okay. And then for the haste action. Uh. Shit. 20. Hits. So that's four hits. Okay, I only counted 20, mm -hmm. 21, and a, and a 20. But 
Okay. She attacked five times. She missed once. Okay. Everything was 20 and above except for the one. Yes. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, because she's doing a key powered strike on one of them. Not good. Not good. Not good. Ten. Twenty. You take 40 points of force damage. And I need you to make four constitution saving throws. Force? Yes. As these golden lights of ours start pounding into your body, it is just a mental projection of herself. She's not physically hitting you, but her mental projection state, as she is, uh, well, she's a monk, way of the astral body, starts hammering into the back of your shell that normally you're like, I can take this! And she's so like, wah, 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 and the last one taking a, a tail and turning around, <laughs> slapping like a whip. All right, how many con saves? Four. And I have advantage on constitution on this, right? No. No, because I'm not I'm raging, but that doesn't count. Yeah. Nope. That, you don't have advantage yeah, you're right, on constitution. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I do when I'm withdrawing the shell, but yeah, that's almost but pointless. That, yeah. The way that's done is almost pointless. Okay, mm -hmm. so first one, constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. First one, 30. Success. Second one, 19. Success. Third one, 28. Success. Fourth one, 23. Success. You do not suffer any of the stunning uh, capabilities. Ooh. As each one was hit with Whoa. a stunning strike. <laughs> well, that's so, a lot of key points gone. At, this is where the point, it gets fucking real. You need to start doing something and not pulling your punches. As this thing is a full-blown monk and you just said, let's do a fist fight. Yeah. Remember that. You have equipment. You I have can. items. You have non-weapons. And go not just make an intelligence check right off with advantage. Dex race versus strength based. This is an interesting fight. Fuck. Five and a four. Five and a four? You don't still don't understand as things are going around, but right now, it just shot magical uh, magical weapons by your standards, so it should have lost. But everyone seems to be keep continuing to go, and every, uh, the, the fight is still going on. So it obviously did not break any rules. So maybe you can use magic on your uh, on it as well. Mm -hmm. Items or otherwise. I'm gonna have to... And you're currently holding two magical rocks gifted to you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. It is your turn. You're holding a mirror as you're stumbling for a guard. Uh, wow! I can. I'm gonna. Okay. So as you just suffered like a huge amount of back. I'm. I'm rotating the mirror around between me and it. Okay. I didn't know you could crack the back of a turtle. I can, first off, I was gonna try and do a push and shove off this thing, but it's a monk and it's going to do some, uh, shallow fall or whatever it is. So I can't. Push, I can't push it off. You don't so have much, I'm going to rotate that, the mirror, I'm, I'm grabbing much. the mirror and rotating it between me and it. Okay. And then I am grabbing the... Well, I'm immune to fire. I'm grabbing the red thing and I'm cracking that. I'm throwing the thing on the ground to try and break that gem. Okay. Roll a 50-50. Please roll well. <laughs> roll high. 50-50? Mm -hmm. It's very simple. No, no. Um, do you have anybody have a coin? I yes, can roll 50. I do. Uh, deep, deep well, here, if you would. Call it. Heads or tails? One or two? Heads. One or two? One or two. Oh. Two. Two. The gem does not break. I'm going to have to remind myself. I, I'm the only person who's used one. It's a 50-50 chance every time you use one. This is a one that I assume is the two. So... Um, oh, right, you have the actual write-up of what... I do. Would you like it? Yeah. So, uh, uh, between one and two, and roll two, and lands on that number, then the gem immediately breaks, and it's destroyed, but it still is usable. So it still goes off. No, no, so he saved it. Yeah. So, you, yeah. so it, it, like, he still conjures the elemental, but the gem does not break. Right. Yeah, Good. so... Oh, here. so you can re reuse yeah. it. 
I see. Yeah, so it can be reused. Yeah, it can be reused. Reused? Contra Elemental Champs. Damn. Um, oh, yeah, these are... Oh, powerful. but it's a 50-50 shot. Like, every time you use it, you're you're running that chance. That's so why I have I'm, not popped the earth. I'm the fire, so I figured I'm going to throw the fire one down. Assuming so, it was fire. Immediately, as you slam it into the floor, into the back of the mirror, suddenly fire starts to trickle off your body. As an elemental look, pure hatred and flame, and just looks deep into your eyes, looking for a command. Turn it into a charcoal briquette. <laughs> and immediately starts attacking. Go on and uh, pull up the elemental stats, if you will. Cool. Because my p computer is preoccupied, so I apologize. Five. Okay. So I'll just roll. Okay. <laughs> it's going to engulf it in its fire form, so it's just in it, but it's going to be next to it for purposes of just sanity rise. Um, and it's going to do two touch attacks. Natural five and a natural two. You probably don't want me rolling anymore. Uh, yeah. uh, no, yeah, so... But it, uh, the monkey does need to make a dexterity saving throw. Another creature um, within five feet of the other five. Hits it with a melee tag. Yada, yada, yada. The first uh, time it enters the creature's space, on a turn, that creature takes five fire damage and creature... Oh no, it just takes five uh, 1d10 fire damage. Roll a d10. Good thing you're immune. Okay. Because it's just touching. But if you can use it again. D10. Yep. You just used it, you Seven. can use it again. Seven. If it... she, oh, thank you, sir. She takes seven points of fire damage. You've injured her. And she's going to go, oh, 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 oh. And go and roll a d2 for me. He just used it, but it's in a break. You can use it. Because you're still holding the mirror as oh, fire yeah, is going I around. Uh, I need that gem. Oh. David, roll a d2, please. Stop being a techie. That gem lasts for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. This is a one, and then the, the thing is a two. I've been yeah. saving him for a thoracic type. Right. One. One? The mirror shatters. <laughs> And starts to melt, sorry, not shatters, but starts to melt. And the mic goes, oh, 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 and just seems very, it's almost like shrinks a little bit when the guitars retracts into nice. his body. Nice. Oh. Yep. It is now uh, the monkey's turn while everyone is still doing their thing. We'll get to you guys in a moment. It is now uh, the monkey's turn. Uh, the monkey is going to immediately. Hmm. The monkey is going to do a step of the wind because it doesn't like that. But it is going to take a. Uh, it's going to do a melee attack with with uh, the fire elemental. Natural four misses as the fire elemental just expands open with just movements around it, and is going to, to jump immediately all the way down there, <laughs> breaking the table. And is going to do heal self real quick. Uh, no, not yet. Is uh, going to do a quick bonus action D100 roll. As it looks for something, 37. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as the monkey picks up a random thing, he it picks up a random doll, and the dog goes, his head turns about four times three sixties, and just looks at the man and goes, <laughs> and the monkey goes, 
and just chucks it over the edge and then continues walking away. So I wonder what, oh, I guess the mirror thing maybe did something good. It broke. But... Would you like to make an inside check? Yes, please. It's going to run over here. It's got plenty of speed. 11. 11. <sighs> it's it's hard to moment. say. It definitely did not like it. But your beard is destroyed. It is your turn. It made the monkey run away and is currently way down here. Bonus action, picking up the gem. Picking up the gem? Easy enough? Thing. You drop it again? No. I, 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 he dropped his pen. I dropped his um, you pen. dropped your pen. Okay. And then I'm going to... Nathan, <laughs> get the pen for him. Thank you. David, you don't need to get it right now. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and uh, let's mix this up a little further. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to drop a... I'm, I'm tossing down the blue one. The blue one? Water elemental. Water and fire! Now that it's near me, I'm not going to have to move. <laughs> so I picked up the fire one. Yeah, and you drop the blue one. Roll a d2. It's over there. Can I have that? You might want just to keep the d2 at this point. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. All right. Okay. Call it. Two. It breaks. As you throw it down, you think you throw it a little too hard. <laughs> Roll another D2. Now we're going to see if it works or not. Carpet's still under control. You rolled a two. I need him to call it. Oh, call it. Two. Two. Not good. Hey. So, out of just sheer insanity, you throw it down as the fire elemental is like going after the monkey, so it moves forward at the same time. As you throw the gem down at the same time, you're like, wait, no! As fire and water really don't mix, but there's something about these gems that seem to want to magnetize towards each other, and something combines. Oh, I forgot about this part. So, <laughs> fire and water. First time we've seen it, right? Yeah. Uh, on the world portal, we saw hybrid you elementals. You get a fire-infused water elemental. So it's a steam elemental. That sounds worse. So, as you throw it down, the fire gets sucked into the elemental. As the water starts to boil and roil underneath its uh, 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 watery form, but you can see the fire inside of it as it fuses it together. As these are elemental gems of harmony. Oh. These oh, are not right. normal elemental gems. Oh. These You've seen this before. It attacked you when you saw the world turtle. Yeah. Oh, I will see the world turtle. Time's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we weird. saw it, but we will see it, but we haven't seen it, but it doesn't exist, but it does, and we did, but we won't, but we have. <laughs> As this, uh, now, uh, I'm going to change This is it. now, now. <laughs> when will then be now? Soon. <laughs> I need you to kill, Boop. and I need you to grow. Oh my gosh, you can change size? Yeah. Size up. Oh! <laughs> it just got very big, yeah. very quick. <laughs> it still does a shit ton of fire damage, well, but you're immune to fire damage. Fuck, well, that's you. On you at the same time. It's a steam elemental. Yeah, it, it's no. It's a uh, boiling, boiling water source. So it is oh, near boiling point water. I mean, this is what it looks like. Oh, oh, mm. heart of fire. So but flows like I'm water. I'm going to give this to you because that's now yours. You. And you can wow. learn its abilities right off the bat. And it's wow. it's already working on the same uh, attack sequence of go kill the monkey. So it's going to go down uh, to here and over here and I need you to make a d20 plus a uh, strength check because it doesn't have fly speed not anymore not anymore wires a little too heavy d20 plus strength check yep off of the fire fire thingy right off of that elemental I just gave you yes okay, d20 plus strength check so it's just going to be the plus it's a, not a saving throw okay nope so plus 
Is it? Does it have strength saving throw? Well, it's, uh, um, no. I okay. just see. So uh, D, um, yeah. So yeah, it's just a D twenty plus strength. Okay, so that would be twenty three. Twenty three. It fought, uh What's its movement? Thirty feet. 30 swim, feet. swim ninety. So 30, 30, 30 It's going to make a dash action and get to. I'm going to have to make it flying. So that I don't lose it right off the bat. So I'm going to just put it here as it makes a dash action and begins to envelop the monkey. As the monkey is like, ah! as it begins to boil in its own body, as this boiling elemental is uh, currently trying to give it a hug. While all of that's going on, there's currently with the fighting kobold and the fighting trash panda uh, that are going at it. You guys both got wallops of like swollen material and like back and forth. Since when? I have seventh level spell slots. Would you, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So what? So roll initiative. Who's gonna get it off first? True pine morph. Squirrel. I gotta find out with my initiative hands. Hang you on. made my dice sticky, Nathan. You're welcome. I've heard that about him. <laughs> <laughs> I sanitize them. That, sticking up with your ass is not sanitized. Initiative is 25. 25? Jesus Christ. So you go first. I have a like, energy wizard. Yeah, let's get yeah, you know, shit. And he just and leaps in the air. But you get the first initiative. Are we actually gonna have this fight? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Well, in that case, hang on, please hold. Let's 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 just let's just do this right. Let's <laughs> just. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait! Please hold. Sorry, I didn't expect to, I didn't expect to have to be able to do this. <laughs> Cobalt versus raccoon. Odds coming in at four to five. <laughs> four or against. Against the kobold? Against for the kobold or against? Sparks, they're asking questions I don't understand. I've never gambled. Make a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw, alright. Sparks. Or against <laughs> natural two, so probably not. Okay. Before I, get, I need a shitload of D6. <laughs> Did you just cast like fireball? Disintegrate. Oh, Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> Burn me! Burn! Okay, let me just tell you right now. It only has 40 hit points. It's 10 d6 plus 40. Exactly. <laughs> so, I never really thought about it. In its mouth, you just go, Zap. you just scream, and suddenly it stops in the air, and you're like holding it, like almost like uh, from Mr. Incredible with the guy with the. Uh, um, zero point energy. Yeah, zero point energy. <laughs> and he just goes, ah! And he's like, from the tips. Inward is just disintegrating. No! So, does anyone else want to make a bet? <laughs> Funny enough, he has golden dentures. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have golden dentures of a lichen throat. All right. Whoa. It was a wear rat. It was. It was also. A, it was a magic item. That's why it didn't disintegrate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rest of its body is gone. Medic. Medic. What? You were writing in, in Draconic. Does it matter if I'm writing in Common or Sylvan? You wrote in what? In where? <laughs> <laughs> you said that you gave me the book. I was oh like, oh my yes. god, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Erase this quick before it notices. <laughs> it's not erasing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Does it matter? Just just flip to the next page. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> no! Dude, can you, can you not write in Draconic? Jesus Christ. No, I don't know Draconic. Take the hat off Sparks, and I'm gonna toss it on Devane. So we're gonna okay, see. We're gonna see what you wrote down. So you. Were, I made oh, sure I was all spelled correct. I was. Yeah. I was writing that, but she In told me to. Sylvan, too. you wrote down two things: uh, 400 additional fertile female yes. eggs of a valley bird of paradise. You better start writing. No, no, seriously, this is gonna be important later. <laughs> 400. Better start writing it down for real, dude. This is in your book. Because your DM is going to hold you accountable. 400 eggs of... Fertile life. female eggs of Bailey, B-A-L-I, birds. B-A-L-Y? B-A-L-I. L-I. Birds of paradise. This is a real bird. Which? 
Okay. You see, okay. and thirty it's breaths of a lichen. Again. Fucked again. Thirty breaths. Yeah, breaths. He can't make good on that bet. He's not breathing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yes, that one erases. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That one erases. Okay, I got his fucking chompers. Here we go. <laughs> Where's Nick? Wish to put this in a rat skull when I need her. <laughs> Thing. By the way, make a persuasion check. Because you just murdered a member of the court in the court. Well, that's a nine. Nine. <laughs> There's a couple people looking you up high, just like, what are we going to do with this little shit? Hi, I'm a blunt instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs cobalt. Three, <laughs> three additional lycanthropes start walking towards your way, Vic. You deal with the violence. Excuse me, gentlemen. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Can I offer you a snack? They step past you. And one of them actually turns... Excuse me. They step past me? Yeah. They do not step past oh, me. Okay, make it. No, please step. junk the lycanthropes. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Grab some balls. Put some shoulder. They're medium to... Like, they're nine foot individuals. So That's mind fine. You I'm making nine a dex feet? what? Yeah, you're making a dex check to make sure that you're like... Saving throw or... Just okay. straight up dex check. Make, okay. make an acrobatics check. Nine An feet? acrobatics check? Yeah. Nine feet tall. Yes. They're lycanthropes. Can someone do 16 plus 18 for me? You make it. Uh, so 36. As is three entities, what looks to be a 34. You're right. A what uh, a were uh, a were otter, a were crocodile, and a a crossbreed of a werewolf and a minotaur female. Yeah, I know that. Get that. Wolf tar. Yeah, wolf tar. Uh, Horned wolf. Yeah, it, it it gets weird when you combine other races. Uh, that try to muscle past you, not really muscle past you, but just kind of step over you. You quickly do a quick, almost like a uh, twirl around and just No, go. I do not. I immediately step back, to, like bounce underneath and in front of them, and then just kind of like bounce up into their face. Like, and they, hello, I was speaking, and then sit back. And it immediately gets their attention, drawing their attention away from the little shit golden kobold. Grab which the kobold, walk away. Show, <laughs> and it's perfect soon, and this where Otto goes, pop in the morton to you. We have a little, a uh, couple of terse words for someone that just murdered one of my brothers. Well, your brother started shit. We're in the middle of that gesture of the monkey. Uh, oh, sure, you. Uh, what kind of elemental is that? Anyway, but it... And if you're going to take anything up with him, you're going to have to wait based on the terms of the fate court because there's already a battle engaged. And while he has not agreed to the terms of the fate court, you have, I'm guessing, based on the fact that you are members of the court here. So, watch your shit! Make an intimidation check. <laughs> Who knew that a nine foot larger than would be intimidated by a two foot money? Oh, oh, this is four foot fake. A bunny rogue is currently oh, talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Okay, so Very I'm playing fake. a different character and I forgot where my intimidation rack is. <laughs> <laughs> so my plus two um, <laughs> plus becomes 12? a 27. Nice! This, you feel the full might of your status that is boosted by a certain someone, your boss, <laughs> as the unsuddenly court's presence is still very real. In I was you. like suddenly radiating shadows. Oh, yeah, 100%. And these frost crystals along the fur. And by the way, it's seven, eight, six, uh, six feet tall, because the were otter is the shortest one, but with yeah. the were croc and the min uh, so minotaur. It's more of a river otter. Yeah, yeah, it, it's like the river otter. Very cute, actually. It's wearing a bunch of like fishermen's gear. But anyway, uh, it's currently like taking a Step back from this radiant, dark necromagic of a two foot tall bunny. Foot and a half. Foot and a half. Nine foot lichen throw up. And they're like, bunny. And suddenly they get a little whisper in their ear from like a, a local, uh, small little uh, crocodile that's wiggled up through his uh, uh, shoulder. Like, oh, look at that. We have something else to do. Someone else just, <laughs> I don't know. Gotta go, bye! And just immediately turn around and just... <laughs> and I about face to the kobold and I poke you, I poke you in the chest. <laughs> I poke up into your chest and I say, you owe me. Shut your mouth, stop 
stop picking fights. Remind me never Where to piss the hell off did you come from? Liquid! <laughs> don't you make the tea? No, <laughs> <laughs> don't stop, dude. <laughs> that is a very, very, very mean bunny. And I'm going to hop back up onto Sparks' shoulders where my legs <laughs> stick straight out because his shoulder is far too wide for me. I'm going to do massive pauldrons that are basically seats. Todd, make a perception check. Grumpy. Okay, so that goes up to a 10, so that becomes a 20. 20. That got the attention of the court. Oh, phenomenally. Shit. <laughs> this has just watered the board, mostly drawn the attention off from the very impressive fight already. And you notice a couple of people that have drawn and kind of sneakily uh, went behind. To you, I'm going to give two descriptions because this individual definitely has weight behind its authority or presence in the Seely Court. You see a fair, gaunt female wearing, uh, that is, uh, oh, you want to say pale skin, but has a slight green hue to it, slit snake yellow eyes, and a long body that is going to a short but wiry figure of five feet two that is currently wearing snakeskin gowns and a cape that goes all the way and drags for a solid two, three feet behind it, almost slithering its way behind Sparks. Sparks not even noticing with the passive perception, not shocker, but you notice it as almost a primal nature of a snake and a rabbit as you hear the little hiss of a snake as it begins speaking high silver towards you. Quite impressive. Ah, save your miserable one. Like the hair standing up on it on the back of my neck. I couldn't help but notice the quite outstanding performance and weight that you hold with Nicholas. <laughs> Who is this Nicholas? The new Lord of Bitter Frost. As you just said her name out loud. Towards a certain someone. Uh oh. Well, I said not her title, at least. No, but you said Nicholas. Yeah. After um, having radiating a weight that should not be yours. I'm afraid that I'm not able to communicate at this time. <laughs> Please leave a message. <laughs> <laughs> Make a persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Here, sir. The number you were looking for cannot be completed as the highway. Please hang up, redial, or try again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have to figure out if that's... Sorry, it's the swirly dice. I can't... Oh, yeah, 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 I have one of those. Okay, guys. that is a zero. All right, so that becomes um, 17. 17? She just kind of blinks once, twice. Of course. And just slithers off. You got me in trouble with the snake. <laughs> There's a snake? Make a history check, if you will. What snake? <laughs> yeah, you don't know. <laughs> I'm watching the fight. What do you mean, snake? Snake? Quinn, it's a snake? You said history check. Yes, make a history check. Well, that becomes a 10 because I rolled below a 10. Ah, okay. Which becomes a nine. No! Well, I, I mean, it makes sense. There's a lot yeah. of people in the. You're from the Unseen, you don't know people here. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't just a creepy snake lady. Um, snake. Quinn, with your passive perception alone, you're able to see this entity. Uh, how? What are you doing at this time during chaos? I think I'm probably whispering in ears, um, making people believe that everything that the monkey is doing is cheating. And uh, <laughs> okay, and this is a perfect transition into gossip time because yeah. people are gossiping it's and there's an amount gossip. of time it's that everyone is doing so it's so, gossip time it's, it's gossip, gossip time. time everybody gossip everybody gossip time. it's poison <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's a different alice cooper song yeah make a <laughs> deception check which one's alice cooper minus 10 because you're doing this to the general court oh, and it's hard to deceive them. <laughs> so if you want to add anything, let me know. Because actually, no, I'm going to give you an offer because I have, and I haven't done it yet because uh, there was things going on. 
Thank you, awesome. Here we go. So, as you're doing this, Quinn, you're noticing with your elven ears, and you know this place, you know how it works. You're already hearing gossip about two guys. As you're sewing this in, would you you realize that, and let me tell you right now, there is going to be a word associated with you. This is a very powerful thing in the thing. Titles have power. Gossip has power. And a word associated to a person has power as well. So, for you, you're with your impressive and you can already hear the gossip of relentless control over how the court progressed with shutting it down early, making other people shut up, including the people under your service when you are around to make sure that you talk and only you talk and not give in to the others. <laughs> A very unseemly thing to do to not give what you take. You are already being called a relentless Lord Warden. And you can hear that already gossiping across the courts. With your current standing and influx of power, you can begin gossip, circulate a gossip, so you can automatically win, if you so desire, on this new piece of gossip that you're trying to sell, or you can uh, opt out to say you'd want to do another piece of gossip, you want to give yourself a title or kill a, a uh, circulating rumor about you, which is in this case, relentless. You're saying relenting? Relentless. Relentless. I like the idea of being known as relentless, so... So your um, title will turn into the relentless Lord Warden. Yeah. You can let it stand. What would you like to do? Would you like to just okay, make this gossip happen, by the way? For the one that you're trying to sew? Because you also have that, because you did impressive. I, <laughs> I'm very tempted to start a rumor mm -hmm. that the, 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 a rumor that is actually a massive gold dragon in disguise. Oh, and what is this massive gold dragon in disguise doing? Collecting debts. You're not. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> um. I'm going to start the uh, the gossip. Well, I don't. I don't want to mess with the, the monkey anymore at the moment. Okay. Um. I want to start the rumor that whoever is responsible for like the call to action against my family is doing it for purely political reasons and not because of any tool slight. I like it. And the rumor takes. Do you have a name or a false name to give? I can't hear. I didn't hear. Do you have a name or a false name or a physical aperture? Uh, like, are you going to put this behind uh, someone? Are you just going to put it out there like, this is what's happening. I don't know who it is. It might be your neighbors, or it could be someone no, else. I don't want to put a name or a or a face to it because I want anyone who picks up the idea that there sh that action should be taken against my family to be perceived as well. You only think that because there's a benefit to you. Interesting. I like it, and it takes no role needed. Because you've already been exceptional. You're already in the court's eye right now. You are the height of gossip. Now, I want you to do an insight with advantage with that gossip. Thank you for the advantage. And one of the two, this one. Um, and with the second one, it's a 15 plus 14, 29. 29. As you finish this goblin and let it just go like a wildfire in a new forest that hasn't had water in days. Or weeks even. You realize as you listen to other pieces of gossip about Venic, about Ek, about Sparks, we'll get to that in a moment. But as you listen and watch the movement of the court, you realize how accurate that actually is. Your gossip could be true. 
and it seems to be taking root quite efficiently. And as you look around, you land upon a particularly venomous looking fey entity, a animal lord. I say lord because that's what she prefers. She does not take lady. Now, I described her as a gaunt snake individual that just spoke to Todd, but you are able to go past with your vestige eye. You see her true form. Mm. A 15 foot long snake hybrid human. Body of a snake, upper torso of a <sighs> strong Amazon woman. Do I get the impression of Monty? Uh, uh, not Yachty, but a variation of it. This is an animal lord. It's not a Yachty, okay, so but it is, it's a snake that has grown into this aspect. It is its own entity, so it's definitely not a Yachty because Yachty are its own thing. But so this is Naga, Duchess of Snakes. Yeah, it's, it's like the, uh, she is quite literally, and you're, with that has insight and you know people, this is the only person that you know out of this entire court. And you know this person because she has always had a personal vendetta against your family kin. She is the queen of serp serpents. You see her true form, which is like a naga. A naga? No, a snake uh, person. She is the mother of all snakes, by her definition. Long body arm or torso of almost like an Egyptian make, long shoulder pads that go to a point, and armor gauntlets that have needle points to each and every finger with ser elegant, but as you look closer, definitely serpent hair that seem to be rolling down along her back, long six foot lines. Yeah, she never forgave me for forgetting the fiend my boa constrictor when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she remembers that. Um, <laughs> roll a history. Roll a history? History, yes. Uh, 18. 18. So, your gossip, you realize right on the head. Right on the head. She, most likely, is the one that pulled all the strings because she is venomous by nature. She is the snake in the tree, literally. She is the one that is, by her definition, places venoms around people and sees if they are corruptible. And once a person is corrupted, they are always corrupted. There is no redemption. That is her mindset. And you know your family history. When you were brought into the Sealy Council, she has gone against it from the beginning, bringing up your corruptibility with certain sides, and is very possibly, given the chance that she now has, has now tried to snip you and remove your family lineage from the Sealy Council. At least attempted to now, as she goes from person to person to person sowing these seeds of gossip against you. I shall now read some gossip. <laughs> I shall read from the book of gossip. <laughs> gossip! Two. Some, gossip. some gossip. people might call it the book of Babel. Hey, I wander around for the Lord of Mongooses. <laughs> it does exist, but not here today. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pile of dust over in the corner. <laughs> oh! Okay. So, right now, you have the Relentless. You are Relentless Lord Warden. You are, shall retain that title. X, the Depraved, is his current title. Find your, uh, finds enjoyment through torturing fey entities, finding a new and terrible physical and mental torture every time he summons a fey creature, <laughs> making uh, shows of it to the unsealed council. Some say that he even gets his rocks off while doing it. Uh, there's even several witnesses of oh, these poor hedgehogs that vouch to their torturous nature. Oh, no. Todd, protector, generous Todd, protector and savior of the princess of the great top and vanquisher of Jakarta greed. Speaking of which, Fennec, 
<laughs> Draconic Reed. Melt your face. Just don't <laughs> fuck with him. Hey, first of all, I right think the brutal and callous well, killings. Oh yeah, right, right, right off the bat, the the, the tight. The word seems. I to prefer the word overlord. Thank you. Tight, ugly soul, petty, and bold. A draconic diplomat a, from the gold seer herself in the house Bite of me! Such a thing has not happened in for eons! And yet, somehow Quinn, or sorry, the L Lord Warden has the su uh, support of the golden seer? This is quite a gossip indeed! I know something you don't. Also, the rumor is the golden cobalt's tummy, uh, if you uh, rub it three times, uh, you would either A, uh, be the life of the party, or the target of a selfish lover. Accurate. All only, accurate. Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by Sparks. I need you to make a charisma check. Me? Charisma? Yes. Oh, shit. You can either make persuasion or deception. Your choice. I think they're the same rule either way. Yep, same, same either way. I know this bottle is going for a long time. First time I'm rolling. This is how it's going to roll. So I apologize, everyone. No, that's not actually half bad. Mm -hmm. That's not half bad. Mm. So that's going to be a 16. 16? Stoic Metal Man. That's it. That's it. Silent. Mysterious. Erotic, what? perhaps? I swear if you said silent, but deadly, I was going to smack you. <laughs> I will come through this damn screen. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's me. No, actually, I'm not very silent about it. You have yet to say a word until recently. I'm only speaking to those in my party. Specifically Correct. them. But that's it. No one else. Silence. The stoic man in the corner covered in metal top to bottom. What happens if you get underneath that hard exterior? No one will know. <laughs> These are the gossips that go on around. Many of them against you. Bringing up questionable natures and your loyalty to the Sealy Council. So much unsealy like conduct. Unsealy like it's very. Yeah. Some say you're making moves against the Sealy Council. Sounds... Before we go back to Egg, is there anything that Quinn or the rest of you would like to do? I like cast mass suggestion. Mm hmm. <laughs> cast mass suggestion. Okay. <laughs> Follow <Ballroom> blitz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I uh, I was going to cast mass suggestion, and I'm not doing the whole like taking control form of mass suggestion. I actually want this to be just the the whispered in the ears. Okay, so like a subtle one. And I, I want every person, whenever the, the Queen of Snakes, the Maiden of Snakes, gets near them, to just instantly, like, remember the most foul experience of their life, because memory is closely tied to emotion. So whenever she approaches them, whatever their worst experience was comes to the top of their mind, so they, it, so they equate her presence with that negative influence. Interesting. Going to make a, make a magic modifier roll. So a d20 plus your spell modifier. So that's d20 plus six plus proficiency. No proficiency. Okay. No spell attack. Uh, so it's twelve plus six, eighteen. Eighteen. Well, yeah, the DC is appropriate to the uh, what I said. Uh, all right, all right. And are you doing this subtle, uh, like subtly? Uh, yes. I have to do this. Make a, a sleight of hand or stealth check. I will do. Uh, I will do sleight of hand because I get a plus five bonus from my gloves for sleight of hand. For some reason. Okay. Nineteen. Plus 16. <laughs> 35. No one is the wiser. You do this and you can already see just like almost like water folks and, and 
A lot of glamours are like changing the guts of a lot of people, especially the ma uh, male associate individuals. But you can see their guts and like girdles trying to like pull it in uh, for a lot of these fade folk. <clears throat> and um, surprisingly, a number of them are completely naked. But they're glamoured so that they look dressed. <laughs> And you, sure, I've been going through this entire campaign. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some, you know, that's how they get the rocks off. So, you know, glamour's a way of life. Turns so, out Wookiees have a huge taboo against nudity. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're just oh, hanging out for the freak. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, you, you know, you know, Faye be Faye. You are successful in this demeanor. You disrupt the word of gossip to no longer be in the uh, uh, of favor of the servants. But you are preoccupied at the moment as you continually make this happen because you have to nurse it to make sure it's suited for every single person that she goes to. And she does not clock you for a very long time as you're doing this. And, she, and you are so on the head on the dot, uh, like someone's pulling the strings. Someone brought this court together. Someone made sure no one knew you, but didn't make it quite biased towards you. Knowing that she's not evil, she just gives the opportunity to be evil. But anyway, I believe uh, anyone else? Okay. Eck, we go back to you, and we're going to continue this battle. It is the monkey's turn. Uh, the monkey's going to turn around and immediately start pounding on the elemental, at least trying to. She's going to do a full range of attacks, doing a key, uh, a key flurry of blows. Uh, does a 20 hit? That does. 18 hit? Oh, wait. Does it, and with the elemental, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, what's the AC? Uh, yes, it does hit. Or 18? Yes. Okay. Two more attacks. I'll be honest. I was skeptical about him winning this fight, and then he brought the elementals out. Uh, and I 27 think much in his favor. and a 21 both Those hit. Are gonna hit. And uh, hasted is going to be 21. So all day. five hit. Yep. Uh, is there a? If I believe that thing, if you hit it, it takes damage for just touching it. Yes. Uh, I don't see anything about that here. If I may, it's probably the next page. Pages. Please, you know the. You know it better than me. Uh, water form. Uh, uh, this one does not have at really, right? Well, it should. It should. That's kind of surprising. You think it would? Yeah, it should. I'm gonna add the fire elemental form thing because it's a co it's not perfect, but it's a combining of multiple. So. Yeah. Ah, okay. After this turn, we'll take a break. So, d8, 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 and one more d8 after this, but I'll just roll extra one after that. Three, yeah, that's three, six, ten, twenty. 27 plus 5 times 5 is 25. So 27 plus 25. So it's 52. So 52 points of force damage okay. to the uh, uh, water elemental. That's and I don't think it's a... Nope. That's all going to take damage. Yep. Straight up. Yep. Is it still up? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want you to roll 5 d10s. Oh, 5 d10s. Yeah. Because touching okay. boiling water... Elemental is gonna hurt. Ten. So ten for the first. Eight. Eighteen. Eight. Eight. Five. Five. Thirty-one. Three. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Is that five of them? Yeah, you did five D ten? Yeah, five D ten. Okay. That would be all of them. Yeah, that was good rolls. That hurt her, her a lot. As she goes, she is just going, ah! 
God, it's just like steam and slothing off pieces of skin are just falling off her body. And she just jumps back. She's mobile, so as uh, opportunity attack tries to strike towards the monkey, she just flies off, almost spank gliding through the Spank the monkey, spank the monkey. <laughs> right now it's boiling the monkey. We've got a lot of things riding on this. A lot. Opportunity attack. Mobile okay. doesn't get it. Oh, okay. Yep. Regardless if you hit or miss, as long as you make an attack action, you can disengage. Without she's going to go over there. and uh, Stay on the run, monkey. Yeah, she's she's definitely hurting from Stay that on the run. elemental. Hmm. I yeah. wonder what happens if you kick them off of this platform and further out that so way. That was my original plan. It's <laughs> <interesting> <laughs> is, um... I mean, well, there's nothing to grab that way, so just kick him. Oof. Oh, they're a monk. Does it make a uh, okay. wisdom? They can expend key points to take oh, me right. I'm going to pass a mirror, but I'm going to do a wisdom saving fall. throw. Monk. But so you don't have to make wisdom saving throws. She's fine. <laughs> Is down there, because she has currently 120 feet movement. So, pat, pat, as she runs over there. Quickly outpacing the water elemental. And it's now your turn. And then we're going to take a break after this. Let's leave him on so, suspense. We'll take a break now. Okay. I want it. I've got something. Let's leave. Okay. okay. We're going to take a break now. As a monkey boiling in her own body is running away from this infused elemental of harmony, uh, uh, harmony of fire and water, running off as political intrigues are going off in the sidelines. You are fighting well, but took a serious first hit. Yep. Good shot on the elementals as you just break, break out the big guns and good pass from Vedek, always knowing what needs to happen. We'll see you next time, everyone. Uh, Till next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep on rolling. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>